When we talk about data encryption, we essentially mean converting readable data into unreadable data, with the aim of providing confidentiality, data integrity, authentication, and non-repudiation. This is done by means of cryptography methods, where in its simplest form, you take plain text, for example, a file with some text, run it through one or more algorithms and calculations, and on the other end comes out what we call ciphertext. This is now the encrypted version of the plain text. Although encryption alone is not enough when thinking about a security strategy, this is very important in data protection because it means your accessible data, should it be compromised, should not be readable. If you have little or no encryption applied, then the data can be easily read without the need for decryption. Imagine your data is somehow breached. Having strong encryption can prevent access to the content of the encrypted files. This also applies to data in transit. We want to make sure that data is encrypted when we are sending it over the network. Protocols like HTTPS, otherwise known as Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure, for secure websites, transport layer security, secure file transfer protocols, and the works. Imagine accessing a website like your internet banking, where you would want your communications to be secure. HTTPS with TLS helps the security of the communication channel by using encryption. Common misconceptions businesses have about data protection is that only big companies need to focus on data protection and that it is solely the IT department's responsibility. In reality, everyone and every department plays a role in ensuring data is protected. Can you imagine one of your employees unwillingly shares data that they were not meant to and the results being sensitive company data being exposed publicly? This could lead to irreparable financial and reputational damage. To assess your company's current data protection measures, you would need to conduct a data protection impact assessment to assess the potential risks and impacts of processing personal data within your organization. It is an essential tool to ensure compliance with data protection laws and regulations, such as GDPR and POPIA. There are standardized frameworks that companies can use depending on what kind of data is being processed within their businesses, especially when dealing with customers' personal information. Microsoft 365 and Azure provide robust encryption methods to protect data both at rest and in transit. This includes multiple layers of encryption to meet various business needs and regulatory requirements. A business can make use of Microsoft Purview to deploy a data governance solution, the purpose of which is data security and compliance. There is quite a comprehensive list of regulations both international and national, that organizations can adhere to by using Microsoft Purview Compliance Manager. This can help businesses track and ensure that they are compliant with a certain regulation depending on the type of business they operate in. You get a rich set of tools that can help you in your journey to achieving maximum data protection. Take Microsoft Purview Data Loss Prevention, for example. With this tool set, you are mitigating the risk of unauthorized or accidental use of sensitive data across all your apps, services, and devices. Or even Microsoft Defender for Business, which offers endpoint security, protecting devices from cyber threats and ensuring data integrity. In conclusion, businesses should always employ a multi-layered approach when it comes to their security strategy in general.